solving differential equations of the form f of x times g of y. So the equations we'll be looking at here will be in the form dy dx equals f of x times g of y. And let's look at a simple one to start with. Let's look at dy dx equals x times y. Now, if we were to times both sides by dx here, and have these cancel out, we'd have dy equals xy dx. And integrating here with respect to x might pose a bit of a problem because we have the y here as well. And the way we need to do these differential equations is by grouping all of our y terms with dy and our x terms with dx. So from here, we can actually just multiply both sides by 1 over y. And then the y and the 1 over y will cancel. And we get 1 over y dy equals x dx. And now our y's are grouped with dy and our x's are grouped with dx. And we can go ahead and integrate both sides. That's what we're going to do. So the integral of 1 over y dy is just ln of the absolute value of y. And the integral of x with respect to x is x squared over 2 plus a constant. And now we can just take both sides and make them a power using a base of e to get an expression for y. So we get e to the power of ln of absolute value of y equals e to the power of x squared over 2 plus a constant. This leaves us with the absolute value of y equaling e to the x squared over 2. And we'll just rewrite this as being multiplied by e to the c. Definition of absolute value means we should be looking at our positive and negative cases. So we get plus or minus y. We'll write e to the c first times e to the x squared over 2. Take the plus or minus to the other side. So we get y equals plus or minus e to the c times e to the x squared over 2. And e to the c is just a constant. So we're just going to let a equal plus or minus e to the c. So we get our final answer being y equals a times e to the power of x squared over 2 for the solution to that differential equation. And this is just a general solution. If you want a specific solution, we needed initial conditions. But we're going to have a look at another example now. So let's look at the differential equation dy dx equals 1 plus y squared all multiplied by e to the x. Now, this is in the form where we have a function of y multiplied by a function of x, which means we can easily bring our y's with our y's, our y's with our dy's, and our x's with our dx's. So we're going to do that first by multiplying both sides by 1 over 1 plus y squared. So this will cancel with this, and then we'll take the dx to the other side. So we have 1 over 1 plus y squared dy, and multiplying the other side by dx gives us e to the x dx. And now we can integrate both sides. So we're also given the initial condition that when x equals 0, y equals 1. So Integrating 1 over 1 plus y squared gives us the inverse tan of y. And integrating e to the x just gives us e to the x, and we can add our constant in on this side. And we know that when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1. So let's just sub that in now. So we get the inverse tan of 1 equals e to the 0 plus c. Inverse tan of 1 is pi on 4 e to the 0 is 1 plus the constant, minusing 1 from both sides gives c equals pi over 4 minus 1. So let's throw, back, throw that back into our equation. 
So we get the inverse tan of y equals e to the x plus our constant, which is pi over 4 minus 1. But we need to make y the subject. So we'll take the tan of both sides. Take the tan of this and the tan of this. Now the tan and the inverse tan cancel. So we just get y equals tan of e to the x plus pi on 4 minus 1 as our solution to this differential equation. Thank you.